Good morning everyone. As promised, here is the flip through for the completed A Passion for Pink journal. So, you know, you guys followed along. For those who didn't, I'll just uh, do a, you know, small run through here. It's a little bit of uh, mixed medium on here. There's texture paste and sparkle and uh, embossing powder. The um, corners are from Butterby Scraps, but I have gotten an email saying she's closing. Um, there's the hitch post from Rangers, I believe, Tim Holtz. I've done the cross stitch to sew it in. The back is just plain, and it is done out of a craft text, um, which I'll try to remember to link the um, Amazon is usually where I get it. I'm just going to turn my camera slightly. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, so this is from A Passion for Pink. Uh, the store address will be in the description box. And I started with... And the story begins. So I've added a pocket here, just stamped. Um, I finally found... Or somebody sent me that stamp. Now, who was it? I can't remember who that was, but thank you. You know who you were. <laughs> I've added this um, little pocket, and it's just got the leftovers that I didn't end up getting in the book. So I'm just including those. And here we go. So we've got a tuck. This is weird doing it right side up for me. I'm used, used to having it upside down. And then just a couple of flips there, some tracing paper. As you can see, I decided not to stamp on the pages. I wanted them blank so that you had tons of journaling opportunities. This comes up and there is a couple of tags and then another journal box. And on this side, we have a pocket with a couple more tags. This one comes in the kit. This one is from, I think, um, K and Company. I'm not sure the name of the actual kit of, of paper, but or pad of paper, I should say. Just some trim and a part of the words. There's a lot of words added to this kit. This flips up, so you can see this is really bendy, so you can actually push your book like this so that you can journal straight up and down if you wish, or it will lay pretty flat, and then of course over time as you're using it, it will flatten even more. This comes up, I've added the little Believe on the top there, I found it on the floor. I thought I had five, and I was right. <laughs> Added another tag in there. And we've got another mason jar. And then this was something that I did. I don't know if they're in the store or not. I can't remember. But I just stamped on them. It's just a perpetual calendar. Now, this one is a nice big postcard from, uh, I can't remember the name of the paper pad. I've told you a thousand times the paper I use, but yeah, of course, I can't remember. Okay, got a little pocket here. And then this is another flip up with a little tiny tuck spot in here. This one comes up and this one opens up. Then this one comes down. Nice big spot. 
and I've added I've added a couple plain paper clips just because everybody can use paper clips, right? And then this is where I've added the note paper. So the other envelope has the exact same thing in it. A pocket with another postcard. This one's so cute. I like this one. You can get bigger stuff in here. I left the side open. And then this one comes up and that one comes down. Added the dragonfly, another little spot to journal, and then another little journal card. Cute little girl on it. This comes off as a paper clip. This comes out as a bookmark. And then this comes out as another journal spot. I love this paper. It's just so pretty. It's very thick cardstock. Be a great spot to add a photo onto it. Added the key here. And two more large, large tags. out and this one comes up. The little heart just holds it flat. On that side is a tiny little pocket. Just added the one tag. Okay, we've got a nice pocket here. This envelope's empty. And another little postcard. And then this is a double flip up here. So you've got lots of you know opportunities for journaling there. I love that thing. The back side of the flips and another large tag. And second one, another large tag there. So cool how that stained. Okay, then we have another paper clip. This guy flips up like that. You don't need this on there, I just stuck it on there because it's kind of pretty. And then another tag there. Here's your little notepad. Three three sheets. And then behind it is a little journaling booklet. And then this one comes up to hide a pocket. I love this one. I don't know where this is from. I have no idea. But it's pretty. Corners are punched with the Martha Stewart swirling lace. I just added a butterfly on top of that other butterfly. And I really like this page. So we've got that. And this does come off so that you can journal the entire page. Gee, I wish I could remember the name of that <laughs> paper. For some reason, it's just left me. A couple more spots to journal here. A 
as well as a pocket. This is a pretty one too. Like I think it actually goes like that, yeah. Sorry, I'm sliding all over the place. Okay, so we've got a little tag tucked in behind here. And then that comes up. This one has another envelope behind it. This one does have a little journal card in it. That it's just paper from, I think it's a Pinterest download and I just uh, glued it onto a piece of uh, scrap. I love it when I find things in my stash that I can use. So, I mean, you can leave it like that if you like. I like the, the layering on this one. It's kind of pretty. And then this one comes up for more journaling. Again, that's the note paper in there. This one opens. And then... This one flips this way, so you can journal here. This one comes down. And this is the um, kind of what I've been replacing my business cards with. And then I just wrote on the back. Another notepad, and behind it's another tag, large tag. Okay, this comes out, and these come out. Got a couple tags in there. Yeah, so that, you know, you can journal around this, obviously. Another pocket. Or belly band, kind of. Hang on, I need a cup of coffee. I think I'm getting the flu, you guys. Okay. Another belly band. And here's the Tim Holtz frame that I've done a lot of uh, embossing to. And I've cut another little journal box there. I do like it better with that shape in there. I was trying tags. I didn't like it. And then on this side, we've got a couple of tags here, little tag. And I really like that trim. It's really pretty. And then in here is another little booklet. And it also flips up. And on this side, these both of these flip up. So you've got, you know, writing here. about it, except for the pocket here with another booklet. Now, I've added this, a big paper clip here, and this is done out of card. And I can't remember. I think this is in there free. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember, you guys. But it's intended to, you know, put underneath a page that is dimensional, like this is, you know, kind of bumpy. So if you want to write on this side, you just stick it under here and then write on top. And that makes journaling easier in the book. So I added the larger paper clip because, you know, you can never have too many paper clips. Uh, so that goes back in here. And this I didn't leave open all the way. You know, I didn't want this tag to fall out. And then I just kind of stuck that on there. Don't really need the paper clip, but you know. Okay, that is the passion for pink. Uh, I'm going to list it right away, you guys, because Canada Post is going on straight. Um, so far my province hasn't, but it, it's coming. So I want to get that uh, put up and hopefully mailed before they... They're doing rotating strikes right now, but it's kind of a pain. So if you purchase it and it's a little delayed, don't worry. It will get there. 
Okay. Thanks for watching, you guys, and thanks so much for watching the whole series. I know it was long, and yeah, you guys <laughs> really stuck with me. So thanks a lot. We'll talk soon. Bye.